In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating some tips and tricks and some of the more advanced features of Mix Emergencies Effects Sequencer. It's possible to save and load the entire contents of the Effects Sequencer in Mix Emergencies Presets window. Simply open the Presets window, navigate to the Effects Sequencer tab, select the slot that you wish to save the preset in, then push the Save button. It's helpful to also edit the title of the preset to give it a descriptive name. To load a saved effects sequencer preset back into the effects sequencer, simply push the corresponding button to the left. Running along the bottom of the effects sequencer are a number of controls. The first of these controls allows you to set whether the effects sequencer runs as a loop synced to the currently playing track, or whether it is a one-shot sequence that will play only once from beginning to end. There are two types of one-shot sequence. The first is not synced to the currently playing track and has its rate set by the BPM control to the right. The second is a synced one-shot sequence. When this is played, it will follow the beat of the currently playing track. When set to either of the one-shot modes, the trigger button to the far right can be used to begin playback of the sequence. When in one-shot mode, you can also select whether the sequence will be automatically triggered when it is loaded from the effect sequencer preset. This is useful if you want to use a number of different one-shot sequences. There are a number of ways that you can use these one-shot sequences, for example, triggering them during or after build-ups, or when samples are triggered. Don't forget that you can layer up to 8 effects at once, so there's plenty of room to be creative. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to download Mix Emergency from Inkland.com.